Once again, we find ourselves starting the season of Lent, a time to try, show, and live God's mercy. Perhaps for many of us, this beginning of Lent is a little like the beginning of a new year. It's a time for resolutions. It's always a good thing to want to change something about ourselves that we think needs changing. Making resolutions often helps us along this road. But Lent is really not about changing some small aspect of our behavior. This is not the time to only focus on our diet or trying to quit smoking. We can do those things any time of year. But Lent is about a change of mind and heart, not just changing some habits we may have picked up along the way. Our Gospel for the first Sunday of Lent encounters the temptations of Jesus. Some temptations are easy to recognize. They're big and brash. There's no way we can miss the fact that we're being asked to ignore what is the right thing to do. Temptations to infidelity, dishonesty, greediness usually fall in this category. We can easily see where they're leading and where they're leading is always down the wrong road. But the most dangerous temptations are often those not so obvious. These kinds of temptations appeal to something that is missing in our lives. They often come because we've allowed holes to develop in our lives. The man or woman who has stopped working at the marriage relationship may find themselves unprotected when someone new comes along. The person who is afraid of friendships and so basically lives a very isolated life creates an empty space which is open to all types of temptation like pornography. It also creates a space that is open to the temptation of greed and possessiveness. These temptations offer false security, comfort, or intimacy. They promise to fill that terrible loneliness which has been created by a life lived in isolation from family and friends. Or they pretend they will fill up our empty spaces with things. And there are so many types of empty spaces which we create for ourselves. These are dangerous places and open to temptation. But there is an empty space which we do not create. This is the space that God has placed within us. It is a restlessness, a yearning for completeness, which only God can satisfy. It's really a sign that we're made for more and will never really be satisfied until we come face to face with the God who loves us. The danger lies in trying to fill this empty, God-given space with things not of God. This is where we can easily get into trouble. If the emptiness is seen as too much to bear, we try to stuff it full of things or people. We can see examples of this all around us. Materialism, consumerism, addictions, the search for intimacy, security, shallow relationships, and so on. The list of empty space suffers a long, long time. It's here we have to be on our guard. This is a favorite place for all sorts of temptation. So the more we're aware of what is happening, the better. Then we will at least have a fighting chance to recognize them for what they are, and that's half the battle. And so as we move through the Lenten season, it seems one of our primary tasks is to come to know ourselves better. This year of mercy encourages us to reflect on how God has bestowed mercy on each one of us, and in turn, how we, you and I, are called to allow that mercy to flow through us and be shared with those we encounter daily. It is a challenge, but with God, all things are possible. It's a time to try, show, and live God's mercy. May God's blessings be upon us as we journey through the 40 days of Lent, 
striving to be his humble, simple servants. <laughs>